Welcome all of you joining us, talking uh, Pirates cross country alongside head coach Andrew Deal. I'm Kid McConico, Southwestern. An impressive fourth place finish for the men down at Our Lady of the Lake Invitational last week in San Antonio. Before we talk about what you have coming up this week, headed up to Memphis, Tennessee, the Rose Invite. Coach, if you would, your thoughts on last week down at OLLU? Yeah, I thought we competed really well. Uh, I know it's been soggy. Uh, everybody's been getting a lot of rain, so we were a little worried about the course. Um, but the course held, held up well. Uh, that golf course must be amazing with how they manage water. But uh, the course was in great shape. Uh, a little slippery in spots, but nothing too, too crazy. Um, conditions were almost perfect. We avoided the rain. Uh, so it was kind of overcast, a little cool. So made it nice. But for the men, it was the first time uh, all of our first years ran an 8K ever. Uh, it was our first 8K for our returners this season. Um, so it was a good feel for them, uh, especially knowing we're going up to Rhodes this weekend, running collegiate distance for both men and women. Um, and there's going to be 27 teams there this weekend. Uh, so we got to act like we know what we're doing. Uh, and this past weekend at OLU was a good kind of stick our toe in the water, see how it feels, especially knowing that our first years used to be in a 5K. Uh, so bumping up to an AK, they realize mile three and four are pretty tough. Uh, but it was good. Um, very happy with our women. They competed well as, um, and you know, again, the course was like surprisingly good um, and legitimate uh, as far as distance wise and everything like that. So it was awesome. Good conditions down in the Alamo City. Coach, as you mentioned, high school, it's a 5K. Collegiately, it's an 8K. That's a that's a big jump. Yeah, it's a big jump for the men. You know, for the ladies. Uh, Texas is still a little weird uh, in the sense that the lower classes, they still run two miles for the ladies. So it is a jump for a, up to a 5K for some of our women. Um, but the bigger uh, bigger schools, they, they'll run a 5K for the women, a 5K for the men. Um, and so the ladies typically bump them from a 5K to a 6K. It's 1,000 meters, not that, not that big of a distance. Um, but when it comes to the men, I, I mean, we're going up 3K and it's, it's a beast. Um, so that's where there can be some trouble for, for people adjusting. Um, but we've been preparing for it. We're at a recovery week this week as far as training goes. So it's, uh, they're starting to feel better. We're starting to get some more sleep and do some different things like that. Workouts are a little shorter, but feeling good going into the weekend. Getting your athletes accustomed to that collegiate distance. And as you said this weekend, you'll be headed up to Memphis, Tennessee, Rose Invite. It's going to be great competition. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be uh, big schools. At University of Memphis is going to be there, junior colleges. Um, it's 27 teams total. Uh, so it's going to be our biggest race that we'll see until we get to the regional championships way at the end of the year. Uh, but it's going to be a fun race. Um, it, there's something about having that many people in a race that you just kind of get sucked up. Uh, be, and you don't even worry about pace. It's just more purely about competition. And uh, it's supposed to be at a beautiful, beautiful park. Um, one of our girls interned in Memphis, and that's where she ran all summer was at this park. So she's been talking it up pretty highly. But, uh, you know, as far as the competition goes, a big race like this, there's always, always a group for you to run with, no matter your pace. Uh, if you're in the front pack, if you're in the middle, there's always four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe even 12 people uh, for you to run with running about the same pace. So it's easy to get sucked up. It's going to be a fun race. Uh, I'm sure for some of our first years, it's going to be very overwhelming, uh, knowing a couple of them are coming from 1A and 2A high schools. Uh, so seeing 27 teams at a, at a championship or com competition is going to be a little overwhelming, but It'll be a lot of fun. We're enjoying it. Um, we'll get up there Friday, run the course, hang out in Memphis, and then uh, compete on Saturday. So we're pretty stoked. A big weekend, maybe a little barbecue while you're at it. It's uh, going to be certainly an acclimation for some of those first-year runners up at the Rhodes Invitational. You get things underway Saturday morning. Coach, as always, thanks for your time. Good luck this weekend. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it.